What is up? In this video, we're going to be planting a bunch of plants along the homestead, talking about permaculture and the great things to keep a plant healthy, going over my worm castings that I've got going on the property. I've been living in this bell tent for a few months in case you're new to the channel, so make sure to subscribe if this is the type of stuff you enjoy. But anyway, let's get some plants, dig some holes, and plant some freaking fruit. So this area is my front yard where I've cleared out in front of my tent and that's where I enjoy spending a lot of the time at and this will probably one day be part of my front yard but the first things that I've planted here coming into it are pineapples these are just pineapple heads that I got um, I just stuck them in the ground and that's actually starting to grow there's new little sprouts this one is a white pineapple oh white pineapples are so good you can eat the core like you just eat the whole thing pretty much it's so amazing and then I came over here by my shower the shower head this is my shower that I built out of lava rocks and I've planted banana trees three of them to hope that one of them makes it this one looks like it might make it it's pretty ugly leaves are pretty brown this one might make it, but this one's definitely not making it. It died. Probably should have put worm castings. But those will be big banana trees one day. And all of this area will be nothing but banana trees. So that is going to be beautiful. Next, I have some rosemary that I've been propagating. And then I've got roofing panels from where my outdoor kitchen is going to go. And I think that I want to put my lily koi's on the back side of that. Because that would be pretty sweet to like have a lily koi vine growing all around the outdoor kitchen. I don't plan on moving it or doing any instruction to that area. So that'll be perfect for the outdoor kitchen to have the lily koi. Next, what I have going is some ginger. This is a soap ginger. It, uh, I, I just took it from another part of the island and put it here. And whenever it flowers, it produces this beautiful red bulb. And you squeeze it. And ginger smelling, amazing smelling soap just comes out of it. So that's going to be right next to the shower. And sometimes when you're showering, you'll be able to just reach over and take some ginger and bathe with it. So that'll be pretty sweet. I have a few more plants I want to show you guys that are going to go up here and then we're going to plant them and go over some key features of how to make sure that those plants are going to survive this is the tiny greenhouse i've taken the cover off for right now because it's a little dry lately so they don't need protection from rain but this is what all i've got going on in here i've got a pepper plant a lily koi some mamaki tea another mamaki tea some spinach this one is spinach, uh, ice cream bean, got a couple tomatoes, got some cacaos, and then in the back here, I've got, oh, if it'll focus, I've got a long gone, which is a pretty sweet uh, fruit, kind of like a grape, kind of like a lychee, kind of like a robotong has a hard exterior with a nice juicy fruit in the center and a hard seed and then i've also got something that i have no clue what it's called it looks like a plant that you would burn but it's not um, you actually take the leaves and they're like a spice or something a seasoning they have a lot of uh flavor in them super good Probably should rinse that off after seeing how dirty this is. But it is beyond overgrown in here. It is completely maxed out that root ball. So it needs to go in the ground. And everything else can go in the ground except for the mamaki tea because the chickens are going to eat that. I'm going to wait for it to get a lot bigger. Let's plant all these. Um, what I'm going to do to plant them, I'm going to dig a hole, get worm castings, and then put the worm castings in the hole, 
and then put the plant in on top of that and that's gonna be perfect for it yeah um, the spinach I have grown entirely from my worm castings that I have and look how great it is doing like this is this plant is kicking butt man it was like maybe a fourth the size whenever I got it from the neighbors and threw it into the worm castings and it's already quadrupled in size and looks way healthier. The leaves used to be covered in like white dots. Now they're all pretty green. Decided I'm just going to plant this one and these three. Nothing else is big enough to handle the chickens eating on it yet. So I came into the bamboo greenhouse that I built, bamboo and string. In my worm farm to get some worm castings to see how she's doing. Nice. All right. So the first plant that I've decided to plant is my pepper plant. This is a Hawaiian pepper plant. Um, got it for 12 bucks. But these things will get huge, produce these little tiny peppers. But as you can see, the root ball is very, very well done. I'm going to uh, disturb it a little bit, break it up some. Uh, this will just help the roots kind of get kick-started back. They're like, oh man, something just happened. What is going on? Wakes them up. Anyway, now all I need to do is dig a hole. Which that is already great soil in there. Not too great of drainage. So, if I wanted to make it better drainage, I could do that by adding in some rocks and stuff. But I've just got my worm soil here with some eggshells for calcium. So I'm just going to give that a little handful there. Maybe uh, come right here and just sprinkle this with some, pat some down on the top, and I'm just gonna shove her down in there, cover her back up with the other stuff that I just dug up, and now that plant will be good to go. Could always add some water, wouldn't hurt, but I'm gonna let her be without any water for a little bit and throw on some top dressings and cover her back up with the mulch that's naturally here from the ferns in a few months i'll have peppers this seemed like a good spot for the pepper plant by the pineapples um i was going to put it closer to the kitchen but i need to build the kitchen before i put anything too close to it so I don't think I'll be planting the lily koi today. Anyway, let's go on to the next one, which is the spinach. Hopefully the chickens don't eat this. Here we are with the spinach. Now I doubt that this spinach has a root ball that is already filled out, but let's see. Working with, wow. Wow, that is insane. The roots grew that fast. Wow, I've never seen roots perform that well. I planted this spinach in here like, I don't know, a month ago, if that. It's been like maybe two or three weeks and it's already filled. That's beautiful. Zoe, watch out. Zoe, watch out. That's where the spinach is going. Okay. So, nice mulch. I'm going to save that. Dig this hole. Help find some dirt. Not getting... There we go. Got to the worms. Okay. There is the dirt. Alright. Throw in some worm castings. Even though this is already full of worm castings. 
just going to go ahead and put her down like that. Uh, she's a little low. That's okay. I'm going to let her go. There we go. Beautiful. All right, so that one is planted. So the reason why I'm putting the worm castings is because that is the most amazing soil ever. And there's a couple worms in there and worm eggs. So that's going to just instantly start worms being right there. Worms eat everything around it that they can. And their poo is such a good uh, fertilizer. Super organic, super balanced ratio. So you don't end up with nitrogen toxicity or phosphorus overload or any of those good things. Bam, spinach is planted right here. I don't know what it's called. It's some sort of Vietnamese bush. I'll put it right here. Oh man, my phone ran out of storage. Oh, the issues of trying to get videos out for you guys. But I got that thing planted. Look at it, look at it. Didn't go, I was going to put it like right here, but there's a big root for this tree. And didn't want them to fight. So I put it back there. Everything is planted except for the rosemary and the lily koi. Going to pop the rosemary and some worm castings in a pot and see if it comes up. This is what I had the spinach in. Spinach filled the roots system so quickly, dude. I've never seen that happen before with like miracle grow soil. Yeah, maybe I should add some worm castings to my bananas over there. That's insanely quick growth. Like I've never seen it grow that fast. But whenever the soil's right, the roots get good, and if the roots are good, that means the plant's going to do good. So, <laughs> worm castings were worth it for sure. All right, let's plant this uh, rosemary. All right, simple little uh, worm compost in there. And I'm just going to go ahead and stick all three of them in there, see which one survive. One. Two. And a three. Compact them down a little bit. Nice. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I uh, really didn't touch many key pointers too much on permaculture, to be honest. Just showed you guys what I'm doing. If you copy it, I think you'll succeed. I think worm castings are the secret to success in permaculture. If you can figure out how to feed the worms around your soil everywhere with like kitchen scraps then your garden and forest is going to flourish out here everything is flourishing because the worms are here in abundance the pigs love the worms they come by and eat them every morning they have their little grub spots to see along the road but basically whatever you feel like you need and will enjoy to eat plant them I've planted potatoes, bananas, lily koi's, peppers, ginger, spinach, rosemary, guavi, mango, pineapple, coconut. Like there's so many things on my property already that are going to be prospering in the next five to 10 years. And if you don't get to it sooner than later, then it's going to be later that you end up getting the reward of that fruit. So get to it right away. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more of my life homesteading, living in this bell tent, make sure to subscribe and check out previous videos. Shoots.